In this video, we will take the if function that we're already familiar with and look at how we can handle it when we have multiple criteria. This data shows information about a sales team, their name, district, sales, and how many years they've been employed. Now let's suppose you want a formula in column E, the job level column, that will assign a job level based on two different criteria. Salespeople who have been employed for more than five years and have annual sales of more than $10,000 should be assigned a job level code of two, and all others should have a job level code of one. To include two criteria when both criteria must be met, you need to nest an AND function within your IF statement. I've put the syntax for this formula down below, which we will follow to create our formula. Start off with an equal sign, and then the name of our function, which is if. We are now asked for our logical test. In this case, we have two logical tests, one testing whether the salesperson has been employed for more than five years, and a second testing whether their annual sales are more than $10,000. So we will nest the and function at this point. And I'll just type the word and, and there's my function. And you can see the syntax for it here, logical one comma logical two. Now the first logical test will check whether cell D2, my years employed, is greater than five. I'll separate my logical tests with a comma. And my second logical test will check whether cell C2, the sales for our first salesperson is greater than $10,000. Now notice I have not used any dollar signs or commas here, just the numbers themselves. And we could continue adding logical tests, but since we only have two in this case, we'll finish out the AND function with a right parenthesis. Now notice our syntax has taken us right back into that IF function. And notice also that the logical test is still bolded. So we need to enter in a comma so that we can move over to the value if true. If both conditions we entered are true, we will return a two as our true value. If either one of them is false, we will return a false value, which in this case will be a job level of one. So I'll copy down my formula to all of the salespeople. And this formula, if we've entered it correctly, should show job level code two for Joe and Mary only, because they are the only two who have worked for the company for more than five years and they've had annual sales greater than $10,000. Similarly, you can use a nested OR function if you want a job level code of two to be applied to an employee that meets either criterion instead of both criteria. A nested OR function works the same way as an AND function, except that it will return the true value if any of those criteria are met, instead of requiring that all criteria are met, like with the AND function. Let's edit our formula to use an OR function. The syntax is going to be exactly the same, except we will use the word OR instead of AND. Now let me show you how this looks if we point to our function arguments dialog box. So you can see under the logical test, we have the our AND function. Now to make this an OR function, we'll simply replace the word AND with the word OR. And now it will return a job level of two, which is our true value, if either of those two conditions are met. So let's click OK, and I'll just recopy the formula. And you can see in this case that quite a few more salespeople are now job level two.